I played Genshin Impact for over 1000 days and trust me when I say that this game is not easy to learn. So here's some tips and tricks that I did when I was a low era player and I'm so thankful for past me for doing them. But first, you know the usual. My name is Lightweather59 and I hope you enjoyed this video. Number 5. Don't listen to the meta. As a low AR player, you don't care about what character is good, what team dominates, what artifacts to get, you are just starting to understand the game's mechanics, the lore, even what each character does. Don't listen to your AR60 whale idol and get a character that does the abyss in 2 minutes because they say so. Get what you want, what you can enjoy and make your time worth in this game. Artifact farming is for a character isn't even reliable until like AR45 when you can get gold ones. So here's the tip, take a peek in the character <coughs> archive, look at the design that you truly love, someone that makes you say I want, look out its gameplay and make that character a goal. Like I have my Ayaka, the C6 goal as a low spender, heck you can even have multiple choices like I had, like Ganyu was my first choice, then it was Zhao, then new characters releasing and I just became a collector and I use every single one I have, I don't regre regret any character I pulled for. Don't get a character or a weapon that you'll regret it afterwards just because someone told you so, it's your choice, your game, your rules, your account. Number 4. Start as a free to play player. Genshin is a free game and you can keep it that way for as long as you want but if you're just starting and you know nothing about this game, there's no need to spend anything on it and regret it afterwards. Make sure at least you understand it at first and find out what the game's purpose is, check the quests, explore, play for as long as you like and don't rush to swipe because you don't have Mora and you want to get it via the battle pass, that's just dumb. Make sure this is a worth game for you to break that F2P rank and if you really want to do it, just do it at a later time when you know about the game, when you are further into the story, a higher level and you're familiar with the game's future. I remember my time as a F2P when I was playing with a friend, we'll call him Mr. L for now, he may be important later and was struggling through the content for the game because I was just too stubborn to look up a guide and I wanted to discover the game by myself. After I got to I think around level 50, I wanted to try spending in the game because I was so sure I will continue playing because I just love this game. First purchase was of course the battle pass because it was around 47 I think and would have been a waste not to just get it and a blessing of course and I know starting is a little slower but make sure you experience the game from the F2P perspective as well because you won't be able to go back. Number 3. Stack up, don't waste. Don't throw your materials away to level up what you don't use or what you won't use. I see a lot of people leveling, leveling up weapons just to leave them unequipped or I see others leveling all their characters to level 90 just because. In the long run you will regret not having materials stacked when a character releases or you want to get a weapon that you wish for and can't level it up because you don't have enough for. And you don't know how important crowns and mora is until you run out. I know this because I crowned a lot of characters and of course I ran out and start struggling because everything uses Mora or you want to crown a favorite character but your first character that is no longer used because you didn't like it is triple crown for some reason. And trust me I'm so glad I stopped that bad habit and now I no longer waste resources just because a character I don't like has to be level 90 and triple crown. Number 2. Accept your constellations and adapt to your environment. As you may have figured out by now if you know my channel, this video is a somewhat continuation of my do not do this in Genshin Impact, I will leave a card on the top right for the video. I talked there about C6 Bennett and how you should not activate that constellation because it will ruin, ruin your account. Well, over the years I became, became fond of the ban of Bennett and enjoyed how good of a support he is for any team you put him in. And you may not know but before my Bennett was C6 I used him a lot with, with Ayaka. I think it was Ayaka, Shinchu, Sucrose and Bennett at that time. I didn't have Shenha, there was no Kokomi for buffers and I was just using this team, I loved it. 
I loved it, it was my favorite team and since C6 Bennett, that team is gone and of course there are better options now, heck even greater than that. But what I didn't like about my C6 Bennett is that it wasn't my choice. And to make you better understand it if you're new here, I got hacked and the hacker c 6 my Bennett, so I forever lost my favorite team. I made a video about my story, if you want to see it, I'll leave it in a card on top right. But of course, people started blasting the comment section about how good c 6 Bennett is, or how it doesn't matter anymore because there are better options for the characters in question. At first, I didn't want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I tested and played with my Bennett, and now he's in my Hutawa team, Yoimiya team, and even in my Ito team. And of course, he's, he's actually useful for those characters in particular. And what determined me to accept Bennett, even in his C6 form, was that when he found out my Bennett was C6, my friend, Mr. L, C6 his Bennett too. So I won't go through that alone. And he even changed his teams as to not leave me alone. Respect. And with that he taught me something very important without him even knowing at that time I think. And this is what I wanted to talk about. Adaptability. Adapt to your environment, be better than any world you stumble upon, test and test and test some more, find out the fun in everything, which gets us to our last tip, the number one, enjoy your time in this game, you will never play a game the same way as you do the first time, you will never be a beginner at something twice, Genshin has one of the best graphics, gameplay, lore, even an amazing progression system to make you fall in love with the game. Don't rush it, don't speedrun content to get primos, enjoy your time, take a moment to admire the scenery and be thankful for what you have in front of you because you won't be able to experience it the same way a second time. A great example of enjoying your time in this game, even if you are like a sped player like me with little to no content left, is to just sit back, relax and just take your time with what you have left. Like I did in this video here, where I didn't log in, speedrun commission and log out, I literally took my time and enjoyed what I get from the game. See for yourself, I know you love it.